Hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. Today you join me on the banks of the canal and we're in search of pike for the very first time this season. To you guys who've been waiting for the pike fishing videos, the wait is over. From here on in we're going to be going out targeting pike on a regular basis. So there should be, hopefully, some videos on the channel. If you are new around here, my name's Danny and every Friday at 6 o'clock I put a new video on the channel and have done for the past around about three years. All manner of species, pike, barbel, roach, perch, lakes, rivers, canals. There's a good mixture on the channel. If you are here for the pike fishing and are new, there are two playlists on the channel for the last two years pike fishing where we've had quite good seasons with a few doubles and the odd special girl along the way. I think about over 30 videos over the two playlists and plenty of hints and tips and the rigs that I use on a regular basis. So on to today, you join us on the canal on a wet morning. It has been hammering down when I opened the door this morning and yeah, you can tell that autumn is about it's a misty, damp morning on the bank. So with it being the first video on the channel, we'll take a quick look at the setup that we're going to be using today. Nothing special, it's just a simple float setup, but we'll just take a quick look at what we're going to be using. So while we've got a quick break in the rain, I'll go over the setup. It's my ProLogic 2.75 pound test curve rod. I've got Corum Zelos Mini Pit Reel 6000, and with that, it's loaded with 60 pound Piker Braid. I'll go into the reasons for the things on the setup in another video. Conditions today ain't great for filming and talking about stuff, so we'll quickly just go over the, the setup I'm using. I've got a float stop on the line with a bead to stop the float. The float that I'm using is a 20 gram um, Corum Snapper pencil float. Got that down to a 20 gram quick change bead. So that's down to a quick change swivel so you can quickly change the trace you know if it gets kinked or you bend the hook i've got my um 19 inch wire trace that i make myself out of 49 strand fox wire and on this one we've got a roach dead bait so i'm going to present the baits um one on this side of the canal and one on the far bank shelf the reason for that is I want to intercept the patrolling pike. The pike first thing in the morning are making the most of the dim light conditions. I think they'll be patrolling around looking for food, looking for the you know the prey fish, actively hunting. And if any come through the area, then you've got both sides covered. I'm just watching the float behind the screen, it's just moved a bit to the side. Them early sessions, you, you twinge at everything, don't you? So that's the basic setup that I'm going to be using today. So let's get the rod back out and see if we can find one. So as you can see, a nice simple setup and that goes for all my fishing. Um, I try and keep it as simple as I can. The less things that are on your rig, there's less things to go wrong. And the more simple a rig, the more simple the mechanics of it. And yeah, nice simple basic setup and that hopefully we'll put a pike on the bank just waiting for them floats to move I'm just looking at the one behind the screen now and it's just bobbing gently in the in the ripple that's on the water from the wind hopefully in the next hour or two we'll see it come alive and move along the surface So we spent the summer trying to avoid these pike and thankfully it's not taking too long for us to find one again. This guy took a liking for that smelt and smelt is an excellent bait. It works all year round and is a bait that sometimes you just can't resist. But that's a lovely fish. A nice start. Let's get him straight back and get the rod back out. Of all fish, but pike and barbel especially, you've got to rest them. You know, early season, the water's still a bit warmer, and then pike and barbel especially give everything in the fight. And you say, wait for them to be fighting to get out. And if you look after these pike, these are the big fish of the future. 
So there's times in fishing where you just want that float to go. And there's times where you just hope Mr. Pike waits five more minutes to dine so the rain can stop. It is on and off today, this rain. It's coming in in showers, but it has given it from 12 o'clock to be pretty severe. There is a weather warning in place. So, I think we'll be giving it till dinner and then thinking about knocking it on the head. So Mr. Pike didn't wait for the rain to stop. He decided to dine there and then. And the rain is coming down. This has come on the roach, which one on the sea bait and one on the uh, you know the fresh water bait is good and yeah two jacks in the morning so far an enjoyable day as I said at the start it's just about seeing that float go today and it has kick-started that buzz that you get with piking so let's get this guy straight back went quiet for an hour so decided to move spots and within 15 minutes the roach dead bait has moved off with this lovely pike three pike and a drop run on the first session more than made up but about an hour of the session left and hopefully we might pick up one more but as you just saw just seeing that float move off is what it's all about and this morning we've done that, a lovely fish. Let's get it straight back. Right, so the session comes to an end there now. An enjoyable morning on the bank. Um, it's ending pretty much how it started, with the rain battering down. Three jacks and a missed run is more than what I could hope for today. I just wanted to see that float go and to be honest with you it had settled just for one run um, the three jacks you know are not a bad sign really you know I've been fortunate to catch you know a pike just below 20 pound from the canal but a canal that's got a future is one that's producing them fish and jacks so these fish that we've seen today they're the future of the canal so as the first session goes yeah it's great to see them fish and the, the better fish will come in time and we can you know go hunting them but it's been an enjoyable first session on the bank there hasn't been much detail on the blog conditions haven't been great for filming with all the rain so in the future blogs with the piking i'll go into more detail about the rigs you know why i choose them and you know where you're positioning the baits and why and um, today was just as i say more about getting a run than it was you know uh, you know anything about the piking that I'm doing so to all you lads who are heading out for the first time this weekend for pike for the season I wish you all tight lines and I hope you have a fantastic season chasing them pike also remains to be said is to wish us all tight lines to the rest of you guys and we'll catch us all next week tight lines <laughs>